security, political independence or security is threatened. I spoke to the Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlüt Çavuşoglu last night about the situation in Syria and he requested these uh, consultations. Today, Turkey briefed on the serious security situation in Syria. Allies offer their deepest condolences for the death of Turkish soldiers uh, in last night's bombing in uh, Idlib and express their full solidarity with Turkey. Allies condemn the continued indiscriminate uh, airstrikes by the Syrian regime and Russia in Idlib province. I call on them to stop their offensive, to respect international law and to back UN efforts for a peaceful solution. This dangerous situation must be de-escalated and we urge an immediate return to the 2018 ceasefire to avoid further worsening of the horrendous humanitarian situation in the region and to allow urgent humanitarian access for those trapped in Idlib. Today's meeting is a clear sign of solidarity with Turkey. Turkey is a valued NATO ally and Turkey is the NATO ally most affected by the terrible conflict in Syria, which has suffered the most terrorist attacks and which hosts millions of refugees. NATO continues to support Turkey with a range of measures, including by augmenting the, its air defenses. This helps uh, Turkey against the threat of missile attacks from Syria. I thank Turkey for briefing allies regularly on the situation in Syria. Allies will continue to follow developments on the southeastern south, south border of NATO and to consult very closely. And with that, I'm ready for your questions. Okay, NTV. NTV Turkey, uh, can you on the one hand uh, tell us what was the support given by uh, the member states and uh, in, in light of the briefing given by the ambassador? <coughs> and do you think that it's also, because you mentioned tailored assured measures for Turkey, do you think that it's a, uh, an opportunity to at least uh, fulfill all the gap because you're just delivering 40% of it and there's still a gap of 60%. Thank you. So NATO allies express their deepest uh, condolences uh, to those who have lost their loved ones, uh, to their family members and to the people of, uh, uh, of Turkey. Um, we also stated very clearly uh, that we call on Russia and uh, the Assad regime is to, to stop the attacks, uh, to stop the indiscriminate air attacks uh, and uh, also to engage uh, and support uh, UN-led efforts to find a lasting uh, political peaceful solution to the crisis uh, in, uh, in uh, Syria. And uh, uh, we also call on Russia and Syria to fully respect international law. Because we have seen bombing of civilian targets, we have seen uh, 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 increased uh, human humanitarian uh, suffering and uh, hundreds of thousands of people have been forced to leave uh, their uh, homes. Uh, NATO allies provide support for Turkey today. We augment their air defenses, we have uh, AWACS uh, plane uh, uh, helping to patrol the skies, and we also have port visits and uh, provide uh, support in other ways. But allies are constantly looking into what more they can do uh, to provide further support for uh, Turkey. Anadolu, Mr. Secretary General, we spoke it from other agency. Uh, could we uh, expect uh, any more concrete uh, steps from uh, NATO as the situation in Syria is worsening, the humanitarian situation especially? <coughs> there are three million uh, civilians uh, waiting on the border of Turkey. Could we expect any concrete uh, step uh, to uh, attacks uh, on uh, Turkey soon? And if yes, uh, can you inform us if it was discussed in during the meeting? Thank you. NATO provides a strong political support and we also provide a practical support. Uh, we provide practical support with uh, different assurance measures and we are constantly uh, assessing uh, uh, and allies are looking into what more they can do and that was also expressed clearly in the meeting uh, today. Uh, we are of course also constantly monitoring and following the, following the situation very uh, closely 
and uh, Turkey is uh, regularly updating NATO allies. And I also spoke with the uh, Turkish foreign minister uh, late last night, um, where he requested for this meeting. And just the meeting we had today is a clear demonstration of a NATO solidarity and expression of support from all the NATO allies to our NATO ally, uh, Turkey. Um, uh, we are um, uh, strongly support and the NATO allies are engaged in trying to move forward the efforts, the UN-led efforts to find a peaceful uh, solution. And uh, we call on Turkey, uh, uh, we call on, 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 on uh, Syria and Russia uh, to fully engage in such UN-led efforts to find a peaceful solution. Kabul Times, last question. Thank you very much. Uh, Secretary General, I know that you are talking about uh, in Syria, but <coughs> the situation in Afghanistan is also very important. And tomorrow, U.S. and Taliban will sign an agreement, and also Afghan government with uh, U.S. renew their uh, BSA. Uh, what will be next step for NATO? And also, uh, you will uh, reduce their troop if the um, uh, U.S. decide to reduce their troop from Afghanistan. Thank you. So we are closer to a peace agreement uh, than ever before in Afghanistan. And uh, uh, NATO will continue to support the efforts to find a peaceful and negotiated uh, solution. Uh, we have seen uh, a significant reduction in violence in Afghanistan over the last uh, days. And uh, therefore we are also very close to a signing of an agreement between the United States and the Taliban. This will be uh, only the first but very important first step towards a lasting uh, uh, peace agreement in Afghanistan. Uh, because the only way to find a lasting, uh, sustainable, peaceful solution to the conflict in Afghanistan is to have an inter-Afghan uh, 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 process, an inter-Afghan ne negotiations, uh, and an Afghan-led and Afghan-owned uh, peace process. And, uh, and, and that's the next step. And, uh, and, uh, the, the, the road to peace will be long and hard, and there will be um, setbacks, and, uh, and uh, there is a risk always for spoilers. But the thing is that we are committed, uh, uh, the Afghan people are committed uh, to peace, and we will continue to provide support. Uh, we will su uh, support the Afghan security forces with training, with uh, funding, because we have to send a clear message to Taliban that they will never win on the battlefield, uh, they have to sit down at the negotiating table and make real uh, compromises. So we will continue to support them uh, uh, because that's the best way we can create the conditions for a peaceful uh, negotiated uh, solution uh, in Afghanistan. And I would also like to commend the Afghan security forces because they have made enormous progress. Um, we have helped them, but they are now on the front line uh, and they are uh, uh, providing a security for the country and, uh, and we will continue to provide support because that's the way, uh, best way to support uh, uh, a peaceful solution. Thank you very much. This concludes this question. Thank you.